Ông quyết chỗ. President, please be seated. Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now by concession. L'audience est réouverte. International Court Council for Mr. Nunchia, you may now proceed. Le court But avocat first, international de Nunchia, vous avez la parole, mais avant de vous donner la advise parole. Advise the chamber on the issue you would like uh, to address in brief. Then the chamber will rule upon to see whether you would be allowed to make a statement. Quel est le sujet sur lequel vous souhaitez intervenir, et ainsi la chambre pourra décider de vous. Thank you, Mr. President. My apologies to the prosecution for interrupting their questioning at this point, but there never seems to be a good time to make these submissions. I want to raise one issue that relates to an email we received from your senior legal officer a few weeks ago, and we had asked your trial chamber for further information regarding the email communications between Judge Cartwright and Andrew Cayley, and particularly focusing on the fact that, judging from the text in that email, it would seem that in the President, uh, you are now advised to put that in writing and any other Vous matter that is out of the debate uh, before us today in uh, this courtroom would not be allowed. You may be seated and co-prosecutor, you may now proceed. Uh, the President continues, we have already made it clear and told you that your issue can be put in writing and have it submitted before the Chamber and it will be addressed in due course. The president continues. Uh, you are the president. Now uh, you should be now seated. You're not allowed Maître, to speak. Vous devriez vous asseoir. Je ne vous donne pas la parole. The president. I repeat, you are not répète, allowed the floor. Vous n'avez pas la parole. You can do that in writing. The prosecutors, you may now proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. And uh, good afternoon again, Mr. Sakim Lamut. Merci, Monsieur um, le Président. I realize it's late in the day and, and you must be getting tired, so we'll try and proceed slowly. Um, and, and we do thank you for, for being here to assist us. If we can return uh, to, this, uh, to the last document that um, just prior to the break we were permitted to show to you, um, and just for the record, this is D366-7.1, um, Mr. Lamut, if you look in the top right-hand corner Monsieur of that document, the numbers should start with D366. Perhaps the court officer can assist. Devrait être D. Commencez par D. 366. Huissier d'audience va vous aider. And, Mr. President, if we could display the document on the screen Monsieur so that it's uh, je demande aussi à it can be seen by all the parties. Affiché à l'écran. Pour l'ensemble des parties. The President, the President, you may proceed. Court officer and the AV Je vous officers are now instructed to ensure that the document is put up on the screen. L'unité audiovisuelle sont priés d'afficher le document à l'écran. Mr. Lamut, um, we Monsieur might Lamut, just take a look at 
uh, two very brief uh, parts of this document. Again, uh, I'm going to look at the English version. Is the document addressed to respected and beloved brother Hem at the very top, the very first line in the center of the document, at the top of the document in the center, first line, to respected and beloved brother Hem. Do you see that? Response. Yes, I do. It reads to respected Réponse. and beloved oui, brother Hem. And are you able to read the handwriting Hem. there uh, on the left hand side? Or, or do you want us to read the English and then for you to compare? Je vous lise la version anglaise pour vous permettre de me comparer. Response. I can read it uh, in Khmer. Indeed, I can do that. Réponse. If you would like me to do so. J'arrive à le lire en Khmer si vous le souhaitez. Response. I could not read the, the initial few letters, Réponse. but it reads, uh, having sent to Brother Ham and Warn, we uh, K something, I cannot read uh, the detail, a copy of letter to par le billet de K et je n'arrive pas à lire la suite. Hugo Slau, ambassador, un exemplaire d'un courrier is also attached. à l'ambassadeur uh, And again, I just can't uh, read uh, the K si code, uh, but it is for sure the writing reads that uh, uh, it Mais je suis certain having seen a uh, sent to brother Ham plus born, we are K something, a copy of letter to Yugoslav Ambassador is also a text. Thank you very much. Um, and you said to us that you recall this was a meeting with a Yugoslav delegation, and the document indicates it was a meeting with the Yugoslav Ambassador. If we could look at that first page, um, at, the, at the same page you're looking at, um, where the report um, indicates remarks by Yugoslav ambassador, do you see that? It's, it's approximately one third of the page down. Remarks by Yugoslav ambassador. Just above the middle of the page. Or I'm sorry, because you're, you're looking at a Khmer version, it might actually be slightly, a slightly different part. Um, I think I can see it in Khmer. Remarks by Yugoslav ambassador, and then issue one. Can, can you see that? I think it's, it's at the end of that long paragraph. Perhaps the court officer can assist. You, you see that page. Response. Uh, yes, I do. If you would like me oui, to read the, the first voir. issue, I can do that for si you. It reads, we have received yesterday a telegram on the sale of Hier, rice and coffee crops. Thank you, Mr. Lamour. That's, that's the part I was interested in. Um, it, it, relate, it refers to a uh, um, sale of rice and coffee crops. Uh, do you recall what that discussion de, de, de was about? Café. Was this um, rice and coffee being exported by Cambodia? Um, 
Response, I don't recollect this. I know that uh, it was the, the sale of rice and coffee beans, but I don't uh, remember any details other than this. And would it be accurate to, to say, as with the last document, that this is, again, a report uh, by the Ministry of Commerce or Commerce Committee to their superior, Brother Hem? The president, the president. Uh, witness, could you please hold on? Uh, we know that counsel for uh, Mr. Kirsten is on her feet. She Kusson may now proceed. Vous avez la parole. Oui, Monsieur le Président. Yes, indeed, Mr. President. J'object à cette question qui est particulièrement suggestive. Et je rappelle que dans la question uh, précédente, uh, enfin, dans, la, dans, la, dans la question qui avait été posée au préalable, par Monsieur le coprocureur, il invitait euh, le témoin à spéculer et non pas à témoigner de ce qu'il avait vu ou vécu. Dans ces conditions, encore une fois, j'objecte à cette forme de questionnement. Mr. President, if I may respond briefly. Um, I'm proceeding very Monsieur carefully um, because I don't want to leave the witness. Um, we have thus far heard the witness uh, comment in relation to the two documents that uh, the reason they were being submitted to Hem is because Hem was the superior. Uh, I would not have asked this as an initial question. Uh, I'm trying to save time if I have to ask the witness for his observations on every document without honing in on a specific issue. I think we will si just waste time. I don't think at this stage uh, anyone can suggest that, that, I'm, that I'm giving the witness new information and reading it. simply reflective of what he has already said. Je suis pas en train des au témoin, ni de Il simplement de refléter ce qu'il a déjà dit. Monsieur le Président, si vous m'autorisez à répondre. Mr. President, do I have your leave to reply? The president, no. Le président, non. The president, the objection by co-counsel for Mr. Kilson Pond is not sustained. Witness is now instructed to respond to the question by the prosecutor. If witness has not recalled all the questions, then the prosecutor is now advised to repeat the question Mr. Lamotte, would you like me to repeat the question? Monsieur Lamotte, souhaitez-vous que je répète ma question? I will do so. Um, you've, you've, we've discussed uh, a couple of documents répéter. before, and my question was simply, is this another instance uh, of the Ministry of Commerce reporting si to Brother Hem as their superior? Du du is that is my question? Is that correct? En tant que son supérieur, est-ce que c'est exact? L'obtien. Council Kung Sam On. Mr. President, may I be heard? The President. Monsieur le Président, the issue is the same. Le parole. The ruling was already made, la même chose. and that uh, no parties to the proceeding is allowed to touch upon the same issue when it has already been ruled upon. Co-prosecutor may now proceed, and witness uh, is instructed to respond to the question. Respond. This document is consistent with my memory. Mm -hmm. 
correspond en effet à ce dont je me souviens. Just to confirm, was it being submitted to Brother Hem as the superior ce document to the Ministry of Commerce? Au frère Hem en tant que le supérieur du ministère du Commerce. Council, Mr. President, I would like to Maître object Kung to Kung this. The President, le président uh, witness, hold on, and Council, you may proceed. Council, on. I would like to lodge my objection concerning the use of terms which uh, the prosecutor just indicated. He said that Mr. Ham was the superior, but uh, witness has never indicated that uh, Mr. Ham was his superior. The president objection is not sustained. Witness is rejeté. now instructed to respond to the question just put to him by the prosecutor. Response. In the annotation, uh, it addressed Brother Ham and Brother Vaughan, and the content of the report is consistent with the uh, matters I remember having been discussed uh, during the meeting concerning the sale of uh, these produce. And uh, with regard to the uh, part in the annotation, the K portion, which is not legible, so I cannot comment on that because I couldn't read it. So, Ceci est illisible. Je ne peux pas, donc pas en parler, car je n'arrive pas à le dire. Mr. Wandert, who was also the uh, chief of the commerce uh, committee, was also était there. également le chef du comité du commerce. Était Mr. Lamout, just before we leave this document, Lamout, uh, when I asked you earlier in relation to um, another report, tout à why nous parlions Rit was submitting documents or reports to him and Vaughan, you said subordinates had to report to their superiors, que les and then you confirmed that that meant that Hem and Vaughan were the superiors to whom dire que Bangor Hem reported. My question is simply, Rit is this last document Ma est la est -ce que ce another example of Van Rith reporting to these two people as superiors. Nouveau, un exemple d'un rapport rendu par Van Riet à ces deux personnes puisque c'était ses supérieurs. Response, yes, it is correct. Réponse, oui, c'est exact. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Lamout. Now, je vous remercie, Monsieur Lamout. In order to uh, save time, Your Honours, I may just, for the record, read out temps, uh, juges, document numbers. Um, there are three additional reports, or, or four, that were submitted to um, HEM, and they are reports of meetings attended by uh, Mr. Lamout. Uh, can show all of these documents to him, but I propose to move on simply because they are um, consistent with what we've just seen and they're there for all the parties to observe. Um, the first document is uh, IS 18.50. It's a report uh, on a meeting which took place on the 27th of September 1977. Second is introductory submission 18.53, another meeting with the Yugoslav ambassador dated 18th of October 1977. And the third document is number D366-7.1. Uh, it's another report of a meeting, this time dated the 22nd of November 1977. And lastly, 
D three six six slash seven dot one dot five one zero. Again, a meeting, a report uh, to Brother Hem dated the 29th of November 1977. And while I'm dealing with the matter, um, I should state for the record there are uh, over 20 such reports that this subset that I have just referred to um, is, are the documents. Uh, reflecting the meetings that this witness attended. Mr. Lamotte, um, we might um, just deal briefly with the issue of, of exports. And I want to see if that last document uh, refreshes your memory in any, in any way. Um, You've said to us earlier, I think, that you recalled uh, rice and beans were exported. Uh, this document also re refers to coffee. Um, do you recall any other uh, types of produce that Democratic Kampuchea was exporting? Response. No, I don't remember. As for rice Question. and beans, uh, do you recall le riz, in preparing fèves, the freight uh, documentation vous avez roughly what uh, amounts of rice were being exported pour le fret, and beans? Que vous vous des de riz et de fèves à peu près? So, Response. Réponse. This task was for the Commerce Committee section. I was not kept in the loop concerning this, so I don't know. Unless uh, you present me with some documents for clarification, si vous me I would not uh, remember the details de without documents. Je pas à me des sans Just voir one, one further question on that topic. Do you recall question. where question the produce that was sujet. being exported came from, how it was that this produce uh, was being exported through Kampong Song? Do provenance marchandises. Response. Response. I don't know where this produce was from, but I guess they could have been brought from the countryside. But who brought them? I can confirm. De la campagne, mais je ne peux pas dire qui les Thank you very much. Um, very briefly. L'accusation. <laughs> je vous remercie. In this uh, period, did you ever meet période, or work with Q Sampan? Avez-vous jamais rencontré ou travaillé avec Q Sampan? Response. No, I didn't. No. What about Mr. Ying Siri? Did you ever work or meet with him? Avez-vous travaillé avec lui ou l'avez-vous rencontré? Response. Response. Mr. Ying Siri was the Minister of Foreign Affairs Monsieur and Yen my Siri unit was not under his uh, section. I Mon used to pas de attend meetings with him in my capacity Je as the person representing the banking sector. 
for example, when the topic of uh, commerce and economy were being discussed. Lorsque des sujets I never call, or I never t uh, told myself or asked uh, myself any question why he appeared in Je such me meetings. Because uh, the meetings were mainly about the commerce and the economy and no other matters being discussed when I attended. Do you recall what position Mr. Yingsiri held at the time? Lorsque j'ai assisté à ces réunions. Response. The one thing I know for sure is that he was the Minister of Foreign Affairs. La seule chose dont je suis certain, c'est qu'il était le ministre des Affaires étrangères. Thank you very much. L'accusation. Je vous remercie. What I, what I would like to do next, uh, Mr. Sakin Lamout, is show you another series of documents vous which, um, which have been shown to you previously and which you've commented on in uh, your interview with the co-investigating judges. Um, your Honours, uh, these documents relate to the, uh, or rather, uh, contain communications with the company in Hong Kong, which the witness described earlier. Um, each of the next, each of these documents that I propose to show to him um, were discussed with him in his uh, OCIJ interview. Um, and the first uh, document is D161 slash 1.4. And when it was shown to the witness, it was also given document number D279-7.4. It is a letter to Renfong. And as I said, it um, has been shown to the witness previously. With your permission, we'd like to show it to the witness. The President, you may proceed. But first, the court officer is instructed to obtain a document from the prosecution and present it to the witness. Mr. Sa Sakim Lamut, do you recall being shown that document by the le, le investigators? Le you vous will see your signature there at the bottom of the first page. Vous ce document. Response. Yes, at that time, the oui. investigator did present this document to me, effet, and I did sign that I had read this document. Signé que je lu. Thank you. Um, now, looking at, perhaps, Mr. President, if we could place it on the screen so that uh, Monsieur le Président, peut-être que serait-il bon de l'afficher à l'écran pour que tous puissent le voir. 
le président. The president. You may proceed. Allez-y. Assistance and AV technician, please make sure that this Les document is put up on the screen. Thank you. Mr. Lamotte, this uh, is a letter dated the 7th of July 1978, and it is addressed to Renfung Company Limited, Hong Kong. I'm not particularly concerned about the, the content of the letter. As with the last document, uh, are you able to read for us the annotation that appears at the top of that first page, or would you like me to read the translation and for you to check against the Khmer? Response. Yes, I, I will read it out. Already sent to Brother Ham. Copied letter. Copy letter, but I did not understand what it was. Copy du and sample of two sets of boxes. Et deux we had to send uh, sample boxes deux for them to keep deux goods. Cartons des, des Thank you very much. Um, could you uh, just read Merci out beaucoup. for us the, the text at the very end? of this letter. Um, we just want to see who signed, in whose name the letter was sent. Um, the words below number seven, so it starts with warmest revolutionary fraternity. Do you see that section? Just below paragraph seven. Response. Do you want me to read uh, the line below that line? Yes, please, if you could. Response. Please send a sample of two kilos of black paper so that you can forward it to Intraco Company in Singapore to meet its request. With warmest revolutionary fraternity, Fortra Phnom Penh. Um, and do I understand correctly that um, this was, uh, and please correct me if, I, if I've got this wrong, that this was, um, these, these were samples of Cambodian pepper for exporting that were being sent to Hong Kong. Respond, yes, that is correct. Thank you very much. Um, the letter is signed Le by Fortra, F-O-R-T-R-A. Could you uh, tell the court what that was? Response. Fortra was an acronym Fortra which I I'm not sure. I was not the one who created this acronym, but it could have been uh, a f uh, an acronym for foreign trade. But again, I 
was not the one who created this acronym, and I was not all involved in creating this uh, acronym either. So in my understanding, this could have been uh, foreign trade, for, for foreign and tra for trade. Thank you very much. You're very kind to assist us. Um, and we will leave that document for now. What I would like to show you next is another document, another communication to uh, Hong Kong, um, which again you have been uh, shown by the co investigating judges. Uh, Mr. President, uh, this is document IS 21.142. And when it was shown to the witness, it was uh, also allocated number D279 slash 7.7. And with your permission, I would like to show the witness this document now. You may proceed, but uh, first, the court officer is instructed to obtain the document from the prosecution and present it to the witness. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. I'll just. Uh, I'll give you a moment, uh, Mr. Lamotte, if you want to uh, just quickly review that document and see if you uh, recall uh, discussing it with the co-investigating judges. Respond, yes, the investigator did present this document and I did sign at the end of the document that I had read this. Mr. President, if we could show uh, the document on the screen and I'll uh, give a, a brief summary, I'll read a couple of passages in English so that uh, non-Khmer speakers can also follow. You may proceed. Assisting officers, please put up the document on the screens. Assistant, veuillez afficher le document. Thank you. Mr. Lamotte, in this case, um, we see that the letter is signed by the Commerce Committee. Uh, it is dated the 27th of October 1978, and it is addressed to, if you look at the first line, beloved and missed comrade Crin and Nat. I'll just read the first sentence uh, so that others who are not reading the English, who are not looking who cannot read the Khmer version, uh, understand what the uh, purpose of the document is. The first sentence states, we have received information from Ankar from about your reporting letter on the name transfer between Krin and Comrade Sok and the share transfer from Comrade Nat to another Comrade. Mr. Lamut, the letter seems to be dealing with a transfer of shares, or rather, indeed, transfer of a name and shares, and the transfer um, is between Comrade Krim and Comrade Sok in relation to the name, and shares are to be transferred from Nat to another comrade. Uh, first of all, we discussed a comrade Crin earlier today. Uh, might this be the same Crin or could it be a different person? Respond. I think that uh, 
it was the same person. So this is, um, just to uh, refresh everyone's memory, this is Comrade Krim, the, the head of the Seaports Committee in Camp Bonsom. Um, do you know who uh, Comrade Sok and Comrade Nat were? Do you recall that? Vous en souvenez -vous? Response. To my recollection, Sok was a member of the company and he was based in Hong Kong. And Nat, I did not know. But I learned about his name later on, where on the last day when the investigator presented his document and they um, told me a little bit about background of Nat. But as for uh, Sok, he was a company staff member attached to Hong Kong. And this was all about the transfer of share among members, Et and it was the internal matters of the Commerce Committee. I don't know if you commerce. understand my explanation, but si if there is any unclear points, then I am Mais happy si to respond to your further question. I'm very grateful. Um, um, are you able to recall what was the purpose of that, of that share transfer? De La raison um, de ce transfert and, and who they were being, were they being transferred to Crin or otherwise? Et, et à Crin ou à Response. Réponse. The share must have been transferred to Crin. Les actions ont dû être transférées à Crin. It was transferred from one shareholder, but I did not know who that shareholder was. But the share must have been transferred to Krin. And for what purpose of that transfer, I did not know. We understand. We just want to um, trace, if we can, the, the uh, transaction. Um, so to sum up, um, shares were being transferred pour résumer, to Crin in, on a in the des company Renfoon. That's, dans that's your la société Renfoon. C'est ce que vous nous avez dit. Response. Réponse. The transfer was not uh, from Ren Fong to Krin, non, but uh, it was from Ren among Fong the shareholders. Ren Fong was a company, and Ren there were Nat and Sok who were et shareholders, Nat, et and there was a transfer of share from one person to another. If it was a transfer from Nat to si Krin, then Krin was a new shareholder, and Nat had nothing to do with the share anymore. Thank you very much. That's exactly what I was trying to understand. Now, we have just one more document uh, that relates to uh, this, or, or rather one more letter that relates to this company. Um, and Mr. President, this document is introductory submission 21.147. And it was shown to the witness in his second interview uh, and assigned an additional number D279-7.9. It was a, uh, it's another letter from the Commerce Committee to uh, the people in Hong Kong. The President. You may proceed. Le Je vous en prie. Court officer is now instructed to take the document from the prosecution and give it to the witness. Du procureur au témoin. 
Thank you, Mr. President. And if uh, we will give the witness uh, a moment to um, Je vous remercie, Monsieur review the document. And if the AV unit could uh, also place it on the screen. Si unité um, pouvait l'afficher à l'écran. Mr. Lamout, uh, do you recall uh, also being shown this Monsieur document by the Lamout, investigators? Vous souvenez -vous que as your signature at the bottom. Ce document. Response. My apology. I, I need some time to review this document first before I can respond. Excusez-moi, mais j'ai besoin de quelques instants pour lire le document. The President, court officer is now instructed to arrange the headphone for the witness. Response. I have read this document. Lu le document. And the investigators during the interview presented this document to me. Pendant mon audition, les enquêteurs du bureau de I did not sign on this document, but I je pas signé ce document, toutefois, recall mais je me I had looked at this document. De but at that time, the investigator did not ask me Mais to sign it. But to my recollection, I did saw this document. The president. Uh, assistant, please um, make sure that the document is put up on the screen. Mr. President, um, we will Merci. be very brief with, with this document. Um, this is a letter uh, dated the 10th of December 1978. And it is uh, authored by the uh, Commerce Committee. Signé par le comité du commerce. And I will, uh, perhaps just to speed matters along, I might Donc, read relevant chose, passages and see if you're able to assist us with this at all. Um, the letter starts, attention to Comrade Crin Donc, and Comrade Nat with love Camarade and nostalgia. Du Nat First paragraph, amour et we are instructed by Ankar that Comrade Sok and Nat are to be given a new task in the near future. And I will skip to the third paragraph simply to uh, speed matters along. Upon the completion of the tasks, we would like to request that Comrade Krin help facilitate a return to the country trip of Comrade Nat and a child du named Nath San Feng et enfant, and make sure that they are safe Feng and well. Soit it appears from that document, um, and, and please correct me if I'm wrong, Mr. Lamut, that Donc, il Sok and Nat, the shareholders of Ren si Fung, trompe, are being Monsieur reassigned new tasks and are returning to Cambodia. Is that a, is that a correct summary of, of this document? Se voit affecté de nouvelles tâches et rentre au Cambodge. Est-ce exact? Response. Yes, that is correct. The two individuals were to return home, and then the share was transferred to Krin, and Krin would assume uh, the uh, position, and uh, Krin should take care of the task 
over there. So that was this letter voilà all about. Thank you. Uh, you said to us that you uh, knew Sok or knew who he was, um, but you found out from the, uh, from, from the documents you were shown by the investigating judges that Nat was his wife. Do you know uh, at all what happened? Uh, did they return to Cambodia and, and what happened after this? Instructions sont the rentrés au Cambodge et ce qui leur est arrivé après ces instructions du comité du commerce. Réponse. I do not know because that was the letter sent by the commerce committee and I was not involved. Commerce. In this Je pas, uh, matter, and I participé. did not know. I only learned it Parce when the investigator presented this letter to me, and I have the investigator explain uh, the working process Et at that time. Les les Thank you. Um, there is another document which relates to this. Uh, matter, the return of these individuals to Cambodia, um, but Your Honours, in the interest of time, um, I don't need to show it to the witness. Um, I'll simply read out the relevant numbers and leave it for all the parties to uh, examine. Um, this document is IS 3.1. It has been allocated an E number, E3. Slash one five e three two. Bar un cinq trois deux. This is a prisoner sheet from S twenty one. List de prisonniers. De S vingt et un. In the name of Ing Sok. Ou plutôt fiche biographique de S vingt et un. Who is described as the commerce chairman stationed in Hong Kong. Le président du commerce basé à Hong Kong. The President. Le président. National Council, you may proceed. La parole est à la défense. Maître Président Kampong, Tai Thu, Secrétaire. Council Kung Sam On. It appears that the prosecution is making a statement rather than putting the question to the witness. I am objecting on that basis. Je m'oppose à cette façon de faire. The President. Le président. The prosecutor uh, should uh, try to frame the approach of putting questions to the witness to avoid any leading questions to the witness. Uh, thank you, Ron. I will stop there. I was simply uh, making reference to a document and. Uh, uh, in the interest of time, I, I didn't want to show it to the witness. I'll just indicate that uh, IS 3.5 is also relevant and relates to NAT. The reason that I didn't show these two documents to the witness is that he made it clear in his interviews that um, he had no familiarity with them. Je n'ai pas montré um, ces and, documents and témoins. Il a dit lors de l'instruction qu'ils n'étaient pas familiers euh, et ce ne sont pas des documents émanant du ministère du Commerce. C'est ce qui est donc tout à fait normal. Now, in the very limited time uh, remaining, Mr. Lamotte, if we can return to some of the names, some Je of the people that you have um, mentioned que uh, on sur certains noms que to us, mentionnés dans le cadre de votre déposition. you said Duon, who was Van Riet's predecessor as the chairman of commerce, disappeared or was removed. Do you know what happened to him? Savez-vous ce qui lui est arrivé? Response. I cannot recall the exact date. But Je ne me souviens pas de la date the word précise, disappearance or removal, le mot to me, was not something 
so significant. N'était pas important. Uh, At that time, what I noticed was that uh, the gentleman was not there anymore, j'ai remarqué simplement and que la personne might have been là. transferred or removed. Et il était possible or so. qu'il ait été retiré, qu'il ait été transféré. But I only, what I only noticed is that this man was the chairman of the commerce. Cette personne committee, était but on a later date, I did not commerce. see him anymore in the office. Je, enfin, je le voyais comme président du commerce, et un autre jour, il ne l'ai plus vu dans le bureau. And, and did you ever find out after this Question. time? Did you ever find out après, uh, what happened to Dawn? Did you ever see him again, or did you ever hear what happened to him? Ce qui est arrivé à Dawn, l'avez-vous vu? Avez-vous entendu parler de ce qui aurait pu lui arriver? Response: No, I no. don't know. Je ne sais pas. Thank you. Uh, for the record, Dawn's S21 confession is uh, document de number IS5.92, and he et appears ce sont in les aveux the revised de S21 prisoner list et il sur la liste at number 9546. Now, Mr. President, I can move on to other topics. 9, 5, 4, I'm conscious 4, of the time. I can also stop here. Je and peux I'm happy to continue next week. Je peux aussi m'arrêter uh, ici. Je pourrais poursuivre la semaine prochaine. C'est uh, À vous. The President, Le Council, can allow us to now proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. I know Maître it's uh, 4 o'clock or past 4 o'clock, but I do have an objection to this technique. À cette technique uh, the gentleman le indicated he did not know. Le a dit qu'il ne pas. Then Council Puis, begins le by effectively testifying about documents of S21. À propos de documents there will be plenty of opportunity for them to bring those documents in to the witnesses or to comment on documents in the closing argument. But this is utterly improper. Why does this gentleman need façon? to know Pourquoi that the individual ended up in S21 unless somehow à moins, it fits à into their questioning down the road? But frankly, it is utterly improper. There was an objection, a good objection made. The gentleman proceeded by then testifying. We're here to elicit evidence from the witness and not to impart information from documents uh, as lawyers, unless it's a final argument. Then we can do whatever we wish to do with the documents and comment on them. Thank you. Mr. President, by way of uh, clarification, the reason I make reference to these um, documents is that we are sitting through a very long trial. We're dealing with um, large numbers of documents. I have exhausted the witness's memory. Um, there is absolutely nothing improper about me simply noting for the record that a document relates to this, to this individual. Now, unless the defense wished to contest that Dawn was arrested and killed at S21, and I see absolutely no point to these sorts of objections. There is nothing improper in terms of leading the witness. If I may, Mr. President, and I... Mr. President, force, you may not be allowed to make further response on this. Indeed, uh, you have the right to only make an objection, not fight uh, on the same issue. And all parties should also be well apprised of this as well. You should also be sure to make an objection, not to fight on the same issue.
The President. Le Président. Objection by counsel for Mr. Yang Sari is L'objection de la défense de Yang Sari est rejetée. Co-prosecutor only wish to establish the relevance of the document uh, in the case file. And it is now montrer la pertinence Time de ce document qui a été versé Et Mr. Le moment est venu de lever la séance. We have not yet concluded Monsieur your testimony Sarkim, sessions. Votre and we also need you to come back to give testimonies Vous again on Monday, the 4th of June, 2012, juin 2012, by 9 a.m. Mr. Duty Counsel for the witness is also invited to come to the court on the same day to give the witness some assistance when needed. The court officer is now instructed to assist the witness with the vessel unit to ensure that Mr. Witness can be well um, escorted to the house and have him return to the courtroom. Vous assurez que le témoin sera accompagné chez lui et qu'il revienne le lundi euh, 4 juin. Le court va adjourner aujourd'hui et la prochaine session va être convenue sur le lundi 4 juin 2012 à 9h. Le chambre will continue hearing the testimony of Mr. Sarkam Lamut and their questions still remain to be put by the co-prosecutor. And the chamber would like to inform the public and the parties that the chamber may hear another witness, TCW 604, alongside uh, the testimony of TCW 604 if uh, needed. Security personnel are now instructed to bring all the accused persons back to the detention facility and have them return to the courtroom by 4th of June 2012. The court is adjourned.